a new integration between Invisi and Turbonomic, exciting updates from IBM Power, and the IBM Cloud Internet Services Standard Next Plan, all on this episode of IBM Tech Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements about IBM technology. I want to start this week with a new software integration between IBM Invisi and IBM Turbonomic. Together, the integrated solution provides CIOs with near real-time visibility of data center energy demand and emissions impact at an application level. This enables timely optimization of data center resources and workload placement. With their deep understanding of the role of data and their expertise in technology, CIOs are well positioned to make a meaningful impact on their organization's sustainability agenda. And the Invisi Turbonomic integration can enable CIOs to take the following three actions to help reduce energy consumption and transform sustainability ambition into action. First is to lead with action by automating optimization in the data center to safely improve energy efficiency. Second is to set the standard by ensuring the business unit impact on sustainability performance is visible at the corporate level. And third is to establish a company-wide data architecture to help with sustainability performance tracking at the enterprise level and support corporate ESG reporting. To learn more about the specifics of how the Invisi and Turbonomic integration can help with these initiatives, check out the link in the description of this video. Next up, as the global economic market continues to fluctuate amidst rising interest rates and inflation, IBM Power is unveiling several updates designed to help clients move forward with their digital transformations in these turbulent times. Some of these updates are designed to optimize performance and energy efficiency, with IBM's first known PCIe direct attached 24 bay NVMe storage drawer in the industry. We're also helping simplify the management and data protection of IBM I environments. The latest technology refreshes for IBM I are shipping in May and we're now delivering tape backup solutions for IBM I environments running on Power 10. Finally, we're minimizing the total cost of ownership for SAP HANA with new configurations to lower the cost of moving to SAP HANA on a compute platform with best-in-class reliability. For the full details on all these IBM Power updates, hit the link below. Finally, as we mark the fifth year of our partnership with Cloudflare, IBM is announcing the general availability of the new IBM Cloud Internet Services Standard Next plan. The Standard Next release provides the same core features that are part of the Standard plan with some great new features. The new plan introduces the ability to add an additional domain, removes the protected traffic ceiling of 5 terabytes, removes the DNS queries and HTTP request ceiling of 10 million, and add support for a maximum of three origin servers for global load balancing. For the full rundown of the new IBM Cloud Internet Services Standard Next plan, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Tech Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in tech now.